Although the Rob Harrison you see today is a pillar of strength for those who are struggling with addiction issues, he was not always this way. At less than a year old, Rob contracted polio and lost the use of his legs. But this never set him back. Rob lived in a rough neighborhood as a child and even used that experience to make it on the streets. He started selling drugs in junior high school, but it wasn't until 1981 that he began to use drugs as well as sell them. This seems like an oxymoron to me now, but I was successful in, in, the, uh, in, in, the, in the drug business, but not really. So eventually I began to use and my use got out of hand really fast and uh, uh, I had a store and some other things that I, I was able to acquire through, through, through my, my type of business, and, uh, but it went as fast as it came. Rob's mother was a strong influence in his life, and after she died, Rob decided to seek treatment. Because I didn't make the decision my mother did before she died. She had wrote down names of a whole bunch of treatment centers. And she had did the research on them. And when, when I went to her house after she had died, I was binging. And on her dresser was this list. And I, and I called the list. And that's how, that, that was what prompted me. And you know, when I tell my story now, I always tell people, even in her passing, she was still working. But staying clean was not easy for Rob. He was in and out of treatment nine times in four years. It was finally in Columbia, Missouri, that Rob got his life back on track. And, and so that was my first encounter with treatment. Well, there were nine more <laughs> attempts at treatment. And uh, the very last time, uh, there was a counselor who said to me, uh, there are no more books to read, there are more, no more steps to work. Uh, you need to make a decision if you want to stay clean or not. Rob then went back to school and earned his bachelor's and master's degrees in criminal justice from Columbia College. He also became involved as a counselor at the Salvation Army Harbor House and co-founded the Columbia Boxing Club in the Columbia Housing Authority. After getting his certification as substance abuse counselor, Rob worked as a juvenile officer. Later, he moved up to counselor for the Boone County Drug Court Program and clinical director for Reality House Programs, a community corrections and treatment center. There's a trick to connecting with certain people. I think that it's hard to maintain that professional demeanor and respect while sharing your own personal story. And Rob is really good at that. And, and I know that when I first got involved in this kind of work, it worried me some that we were putting people in recovery in a position with other people in recovery as mentors. And I worried that that would somehow would get too personal and that we are a court and we're still trying to keep things on a very professional level. But Rob, is, as, as I said, he, he is the master of maintaining the professional relationship but letting people see into his story. There are certain individuals that are responsible for a nation of people. And when I say a nation, I'm not talking about a geographical location, but there's a group of people on the earth that because of what you've gone through and what you experienced, you are the best candidate to, to minister to them or to uh, help them out or even to keep them from taking their lives because you've been where they've been and you've done that and you've overcome. Rob has also branched out to write plays about his experiences. He founded Actors of Faith, which strives to engage and inspire social, cultural, and community awareness. And he came to me once and he says, I got this idea. I'd like to write a play about some of my experiences. And I said, well, do it. So he came with the play and I read it and I said, this is pretty good. Make your mess your message is a phrase that has inspired Rob. And despite the rough and long journey he has been on, he's committed to bridging the gap between faith groups, recovery communities, and theater. He is passionate about his work. He's really good at his job, but he also knows how to have a good time. He has many, many friends. He has uh, creative outlets that 
When the rest of us go home and we're exhausted and we just want to sit there and complain about our long, hard day, he starts his playwriting. Proof's in the pudding. <laughs> what more can you say? You see it every day. You, you, you run into people on the streets and, 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 they, uh, and they will refer to Rob, you know, and he's been around here now for, what, 15 years and so forth, and they refer to Rob. And uh, I can't imagine anybody in this state that would have had any more influence, impact, on people who needed that influence than Rob Harrison has been in our community. He embodies the word champion to the fullest. That is what makes Rob Harrison a mental health champion.